Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at AF Golf Cambridge as I'm going to take a closer look with one of our club fitters and get fit for the new AI range of putters from Odyssey. Remember, if you like our content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So Rob, talk me through the new AI range for the season, what we got. So uh, yeah, within Odyssey, we've got three main ranges really. So you've got the AI one, which has the, the white insert. So this when you one, look yeah. at it, um, loads of different options with heads and different necks. Uh, you have the AI uh, milled, which is the sort of the brown insert. It's a slightly firmer feel, a bit more of a replacement for the um, Toulon yep. series. Um, and then we have the cruiser which uh, again several different options several different lengths and these are the ones that are much longer a bit more counterbalanced sure. arm lock um, and this is the newest one that's so just this come is out. the new ones that have just come out again sort of based on the the ar1 head yep. um so with the insert in there and the the, the classic designs the number seven head uh, number three head etc so okay yeah, lots so of different choices let, let's focus on ai1 first so my understanding is this is the more affordable model in the range. What type of player is going to go into this and why would they go into this and not necessarily into the more premium range, the, like you said, the Toulon replacement in the milled? Um, I think with something like the AO1, to be fair, it, it can be used for anyone. Um, there were certainly guys using them at the Masters this week. Yep. Um, a lot of it will come down to the feel. Um, the feel on something like the Toulon is a little bit firmer for the guys um, that are probably playing somewhere like Augusta, those quicker greens. You want that slightly better feel for it to judge on those quick greens. Um, with the uh, AI1, there are more choices with regards to the head options. So okay. um, there's probably a wider range of player that you can then cope to, to, to get into one of those really. Um, technology wise, the AI part is basically the uh, millions of golfers or millions of putting swings have been analysed um, and what they can do is they have basically worked out exactly where they need to strengthen the back of the head um, on the stroke behind the insert to make sure that you get the most out of your putt. So yeah, the and next roll. You can see and that. And, yeah. and you can see it on, on the back of some of the heads. It's actually got like a, a, like a bit of window on the back. Yeah. So you can see where they've done that. And similar principle applies to the AI, AI milled as well. But um, with the AI one, it's that slightly softer feeling on the insert. So yeah. just grabbing hold of the ball, getting that ball rolling, turning end over end just to get it keeping the pace better and keeping the line better. Yeah, and we're seeing this more and more in golf now, particularly with Callaway and, and Odyssey now, um, with this AI technology, all this learning that's yeah. going based on data from amateurs and pros alike, and as you said, where the best sweet spots are and how yeah. to get the best out of a putter. But yeah, that's really cool. And I like that feature of being able to, to see into the little window and see how the putter is kind of uniquely made. Um, so. That's the, the t and it's really just the tech that's changed. Obviously, we've got this lovely blue finish to the putter head, but the head, I mean, it's a classic seven. We've seen this one before. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny with putters, and, and they do it right across the range with other brands as well, very similar. Um, they, they, they don't tend to change the, the head design massively. Yep. Um, the, the way that they work, whether you want a bigger mallety headed one. With, with Odyssey, they've got some of the classic ones in there as well. So you've got the seven, you've got the two ball. Yep. Um, and then within those, you've got the jailbird. Um, so I was just going to bring, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bring gonna that, mention one. that one. There. So, um, you know, jailbird is something that you, I, I, I saw quite a lot this last um, at the Masters. Um, is something again visually uh, it's not for me yeah. and this is the thing with puttons it putting it is very individual um but the principle it, it just helps your alignment a lot better um it doesn't look like a massive big club that you're swinging which sometimes can put people off but yeah. you actually might need that help so um yeah that, that, that's probably jailbirds come out more recently but something like the two ball the two ball's been around since pretty much odyssey started with the white hot yeah. Um, 25, 20, just over 20 years ago. So um, that's still going and the seven has been there for pretty much that amount of time as well. So those types are very, very popular. They all have different necks. 
Um, so slightly different putting strokes, different styles. There'll be a putter in there that, that will suit, suit really. somebody. Perfect. And what, what about milled then? So you mentioned briefly about this being the replacement for the more yep. premium range, which was too long. Yep. Um, Odyssey have obviously had hundreds of ranges of putters over yeah. the years. What yeah. I love about the kind of story this year is a lot cleaner. It's almost very easy to understand that it's all AI. You haven't got the white hot and the too long. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's all kind of come into one neat family, but there is a price bracket for each putter. Um, so we're into the more, the more expensive range. This ranges. is the more premium one. So this is when you start going up into the realms of your Scotty Camerons, um, just where you're, um, you're starting to get that bit more feel from a putter. Um, the, the white hot insert is definitely designed to grab hold of the golf ball and get that ball rolling, turning end over end. Um, the, the, the design on, on the AR mill doesn't necessarily do that as well as, as, the, um, as the white hot insert, but it certainly does have that grab and control, but it gives you a slightly firmer feel. Okay. That firmer feel just gives you a slightly better indication of how hard you're hitting that putt. So distance control becomes a lot, lot easier. Um, the great thing with this though, as well, is that there is still technology in the head. So you've still got the certain weighting, you've got the AI um, technology in the back of it, you've got different weightings that can change as well. So, um, you know, we can just make sure that the, put the putter is balanced accordingly, um, that it's the right weight, the right feel. Um, you know, if you're someone that plays quite a lot, and you, certainly if you play on good, you know, smooth greens a lot of the time, um, for me, that, that putter is more essential because uh, distance control is, is, is paramount, really. So that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a great putter to nope. warrant having this. So nope. I think sometimes you get, I wouldn't say stigma necessarily, but if you look at Scotty Cameron, for example, very premium. Um, a lot of people will often, you hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm not good enough for a Scotty Cameron. Yeah. And that's not always the case. No, I don't think so. I think, and, and the, the thing is with something like um, Odyssey, they put a lot of technology, lots of different parts within the putter. So in this case, we've got the AI technology. There's still the weighting. You have the inserts with a, something like a Scotty Cameron. It's cut out of a block of softer metal. Mm -hmm. So, um, but if you've got the right, putter for you so the right neck the right length the right line or a bit like everything else like your irons and your woods that they're set up for you and then it's going to work a lot better but when you're looking at putting putting is with with your long game your woods and your irons you you swing it you hit it and you change your distance by you change your club yep. with putting you don't you have to do everything with that one stick so you've got to make sure you hit it on the right line with the right pace and you use it more than any other club. So the one vital part of a putter, it has to feel right. It has to feel right when you're swinging it, but it has to feel right when you strike it because you've got to judge that distance. Sure. So if you feel it and you hit it and it doesn't really feel it coming off the club face, it might go straight, but you're then going to struggle distance wise. So yes, you could hit it straight, but if you hit it too hard through the break, then you're not going to make those putts. Okay. So yeah, it, it's, it's, um, and the materials, etc., are a little bit more expensive, which is another reason why they tend to be a little bit more. Um, but it does aid to you being um, having, as I said, that that extra little bit of touch and control, which you know, for for putting, for a lot of people, that that's kind of quite a major major thing. Okay, and okay, so sticking on that, then let's talk custom fitting. So, first of all, as important as a driver fitting. Uh, yes, yeah. probably more so really because you use your putter more, more so than your driver. But overlooked more than? Certainly far overlooked. Um, I mean, we use um, SAM Lab uh, Science and Motion. So when, when we're using it, we track it. So it's a similar process. We're tracking exactly what the putter is doing through the impact um, and, and what that's going to do to the ball. Um, Everyone is, is very much unique when it comes to putting. That's why there are so many different types of putters ahead, putter, putter necks, styles that, that people have. So um, to make sure that you've got something, it doesn't have to be a perfect putting stroke, but if it actually works, if you look through history, some of the put, the best putters on tour, some of them look terrific. Yeah. So um, 
But if it works, it works. As long as it's consistent with what you do, um, but it's then making sure the putter does what you need it to. So it's making sure, I've mentioned several times, the neck, um, when, when you're looking at putters, one of the major things um, is toe flow. So if I was to get toe flow. To, so yeah, it's just how much that, that putter's gonna rotate for impact. So depending on what you do, so you've got that one there, that one would be more face balanced. And that's so, down to the neck. So that's okay. down to the neck. Um, and the size of the club head as well, and how, how stable it's gonna be back and through. So if you're someone that has a slightly more straighter path back and through on the putter, that putter's gonna be more beneficial. Because it's more stable? Because it's more yeah. stable, and it, it's gonna move, it's less likely to move backwards and forwards. Okay. However, if you have someone, if you, someone that uses a little bit more rotation, then having a putter that has that little bit more toe flow in there, a little bit more toe hang, however you class it, just means it helps square the club face up a little bit better at impact. If you had quite a bit of an arc with a, a, a face balance putter, you'd be struggling to get this, the face square, the sure, to the right. Sure. So it, little, little things like that, it might only be subtle, but it does have a big impact on, on what you do. Length as well, and the lie angles have a, have a massive say if you're, when you're setting up to the putter, if your eyes are too far forward over the ball or too far back, you're not actually going to look at the line of the putt in the correct way. Yeah. So again, it puts your alignment off. It's, um, it's so interesting because obviously we're all golfers, a lot of us golf pros. Um, we all know the importance of custom fitting. So when I'm asking these questions, obviously it's for, yeah, for yeah. the value of the, yeah, yeah. the, the viewer. I know that we should be getting custom fit, but I also fall into that bracket that from a young age, putting was always very subjective that every pro shop in the country, you will walk in and like this, you will see putters lined up. And yep. the one amazing thing is that they're almost all the same length. Yeah, and yeah, you just yeah, said yeah, there yeah, about yeah, length. Yeah. And yeah. when you look at the Odyssey range now, you've obviously got the cruiser that comes in. We haven't really talked about this, yep. but these come in at I think 38 inches as as starts yeah and then with the seven head that goes into an arm lock and a broom handle so yep. you can get that longer as well yeah you wouldn't just go into a shop and pick up a broom handle and just assume that's right for you right <laughs> no i think i think the other the flip side of that and, and again what you're into I, I like from from when i first started playing it is that and i uh you, you'd walk into the pro shop and you see all the putters and you're like oh i want to have a little putt with that and you still see it here we've got uh massive putter two walls that we have um when people go in there they're picking up and, and like it and that still is a major part to it sure. because you need it needs to feel right there's no point in me saying yeah that's a great putter that's going to work for you you need to do this but if you pick it up if it doesn't feel right it isn't going to work so you, you've still got to have that i think with things like that it's that kind of, for me, I feel now there's so much more of the counterbalance or the arm locks that are out there. For me, I feel that's kind of got to be a bit more coincided with a lesson as well as, yep. um, but certainly doing a fitting because you need to make sure that you, you have the right technique with when you're doing that one. Um, because the putters, especially with something like an arm lock, um, for instance, you can't just extend a standard putter into an arm lock yep. because the, the, the way that the neck and the loft, you need that to be in a certain position. Otherwise, it just doesn't, doesn't work the same. So um, that's why they bought the Cruiser Range up because they are very different and there is a market for that now. Um, it's funny enough, since they sort of like banned um, anchoring, uh, we seem to see more of the, that longer putter yeah. than we ever have done. Um, and there's a lot more guys on tour that are doing it. I think if you look at someone like Bryson DeChambeau, um, I, I, th I think he just looks awkward when he putts, but he's unbelievable at what he, what he does. Yeah. He's very, very upright with the arm lock. Um, doesn't actually look like he's anchored to me, but that's probably another discussion. <laughs> um, but but, but it, works, it works really, really well. And, and again, you know, when you look at the tour players, there's so many different styles of putting. Different grips as well, which is something else. If you have a claw type putter style, you can get a claw grip to go on it because it's a little bit wider. It just gets your hands into the right position. Okay. So loads of different, loads of different options. That's why just speaking to us, we can then help you just make, make that or help you get the right, the right grip putter length, whatever you need to do. Perfect. Okay. Well, you're going to give me a quick fit in for a putter. Yep. 
taking on board what you say, we, we need to fit in, but there's still an element of being subjective and what you like. So yep. Yep. I'm going to start, if it's okay, with the seven. Yep. Um, it's the one that I kind of gravitate towards, really, yep. in terms of looks. I've played this head before, um, so I like this one. So give that a go yep. and uh, yep. Perfect. see how we get on. All right. If you just hit from that crosshair there for me, Chris, just seven putts. Good start. Yeah, I'll strike. I would just go straight in with this one then. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Nice. Two more. I don't do that nice. on the course. <laughs> <laughs> well, not much wrong with that. Um, so that's the results of, of your, your seven putts that you did. Um, well, go through. So tendency is what you do. So face, aim, path, timing, acceleration, uh, speed of your swing, consistency of those. So repetition and then your overall. Um, so the top, 70, top 25%, uh, there is... Um, basic 250 tour pros. So you're actually pretty much on that top 25% of all of them. So it's actually pretty good. Thing is with this though, is when you're doing it with these numbers, it's all about actually what you do. So you might see some someone here where your path might be left, but the club face is open to compensate yeah. and you nail everything in the middle of the hole. Well, if you're really consistent at doing that, then it works. So, you know, from that we saw that you hold every single part so actually, yeah, um, so you, in a way that putter works. So you're saying this would change based on the putter or is that me? That's just me. So you could give me any putter and that would have been pretty much no, like for life. So if I give you a different putter, some of these would change with regards to what you do. So I can, so you can look at some of these. So one of the consistencies, so, so one of these consistencies here, so, um, your club face just slightly closed, yep. um, but it impacts you just slightly opened it, or it was slightly more open compared to where Don't it started. Don't make things easy, do I? Um, but, you, but, but the one thing is you're extremely consistent at doing it. So this is sometimes with putting. I said earlier on that everyone is unique in how they putt. Um, that's just what you do. So probably open it. It opens a little bit more than um, than it was closed at the start, but obviously you were still holding those putts. So as we go down through the lift that list, you can see at the bottom here, path directions a little bit to, that, to the left. So with that putter head, um, when you're going back and through, um, just, just means that you've, you've got that ability to manipulate. You said you had a similar putter in the past. Yeah. Um, for me, it would just be the, the fact that you're able to manipulate what the, the putter face is doing, which again, has come down to that that feel aspect. Um, as you go further down, so face it, path doesn't always stay the same, but I think that's just where you had some differences in bringing the putter back. Um, what is really good, impact spot, pretty much centered on the club face. So again, the way that you set up to the ball, where the ball is in relation to, to the face as you strike it, absolutely out the middle. So even though that putter is a, a little bit bigger and it, it's quite high MOI, which means that if you, if you hit it from off the, the center of the face, it still gives you yeah. good speed. Actually, you don't need to worry too much about that because you're hitting it pretty much out of the middle anyway. So then it really comes down to neck type and how that's affecting the face at Correct. impact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the face, the neck I had on this putter, slight... So, Slight slant neck. Yep. Um, so so makes... with that one there, it gives you, with the size of the putter for something like that, it gives you a slight toe hang. If you had a more bladed putter, 
same neck would be a real sort of low toe hang just because of the weight of the the head where the weight is positioned on that on the head so with that one there it's just slight arc uh, which you have just back and through just helping to square that club face up okay um, and just give you a bit of consistency um, but yeah very good so based on that then would you be suggesting that this putter would be the right one to go away with or would you be making any recommendations on changing the neck type? In terms of the head itself, if I was to say, Rob, I really like this and I, I yep. don't like the look of the blade, would that have much impact on where I'm going? Yeah, so the other bit we haven't really talked about is aim. So uh, initial aim is, is really quite important. With here, you've got the quite a bit of an alignment. So in this particular model, you have the alignment um, line through the middle, but then you also have two tram lines as well. Yep. Um, that it, it does two things. One, it helps you line up at the start. It also helps when you're swinging the putter back and through. Your eyes can kind of gauge where that putter is going back and through without you having to really be conscious of that. And again, it helps that putter to keep in a more stable path. Okay. Um, if you went to more bladed putter, could it work? It potentially could work. Um, but I think because you've had, because you're used to that, what you might well find, you can have the alignment on the top and the line go through the middle on a more bladed putter, but without the tram lines and without the stability on the back of the head, you might find the putter moves around a little bit more. Okay. Um, which means that you've then got to be able to, to compensate a little bit more. And with the neck type, I think you mentioned that I was slightly open at impact. Yeah, so, so you can just see it there. Could be, it could be that you go into a slightly more face balance one that will just give you a little bit more stability back and through. Um, the other part with this one is as well, when you have a slightly shorter neck, the shaft goes down. So from a visual point of view, you feel that you're, you're kind of, the shaft is much closer to the ground and you're much closer to the ball yeah, when yeah, you I set up that. rather than a, if you have a, a single or double bend, then all of a sudden it, the, it's a lot more offset. It feels that your, your hands are much more ahead of the ball. So your technique can feel a little bit different. So from a visual point of view, when you're setting up to the putter and, and the feel aspect, that's something that can have an impact as well, regardless of the rotation of the, the putter. So there we go, guys. Thanks to Rob at AF Golf Store Cambridge. So we've ended up looking there at the AI1 in the seven head, slight, slight slant neck, yep. which, I've real, I mean, I can see the performance there. As we said, it might be worth me trying something with a single bend, which I'll continue to do in practice. But if you're looking for a putter this season, the AI range from Odyssey is definitely worth looking at with all their heads and the models. Certainly worth getting yourself booked in for a, for a custom fit in with Rob and his team uh, and try these out.